talked a lot during that episode. Yeah, and the bad thing was, we talked a lot, but one, we were quiet, and the 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 game volume was too high. It was too uh, you know, high, so you can't hear our voices. So it was very unprofessional of us. So, um, yeah, so there are people that don't like this game for, the, for their reasons, and they're valid reasons, I understand them, but, um, like I explained in my Which is the Best Mega Man Classic game, people will like it, enjoy a game for their own in individual concepts, whatever the, it is that they get out of the game or how they play the game. And I get my feel out of this game. I, I really like playing this game. And for those out there who hate this game and want to, like, break or burn the game, just think about somewhere in the world there's someone who probably doesn't have this game and really enjoys it. Maybe they played it before or they're a huge Mega Man fan they want it for their collection, so please just don't destroy your copy of this game. Donated. I'll buy it from anyone who wants to give it. Who doesn't want their copy? Instead of wasting that, instead of wasting the, that material, it will do good for someone else. Okay, so last episode was 30 minutes. Was, um, last episode was horrible because. I have no idea what happened. Uh, I went to the end to, uh, to the boss fight. A lot wasn't heard. And it was just far too long enough, so for the. I didn't want it to be 30 minutes. Okay. So. Okay, so the difference of the three guys in this, in, uh, of Axel Zero and, uh, X Magnus. So, Axel gets to glide. And you have to keep pressing square. You can actually s switch in the settings to, um, auto shoot. But, um, he just has rapid fire. He has this, um, uh, you know how in the video at the start he disguised himself? So,. See that guy on the other side? If I use triangle, I charge up this attack, and I hit an enemy. It, it takes a while to defeat them with it. You could weaken them first, then use it. And uh, you can become them uh, for a while. Now Axel does pretty uh, minimal damage. Zero does tons of uh, tons of damage. But you have to get close up, like I've explained, and that's a hard one. I, guess. I keep getting hit by these by zero. I keep trying to jump, but I just I can't avoid them with zero. Wait. Okay. X. Okay. So uh, zero gets to um, dash in the air and jump. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Okay, he gets a double jump and dash in the air. X jumps only once. He doesn't dash in the air, but he gets a, his charge shot. Yeah. He gets to glide. Well, he gets to, yeah, glide forward a bit. Come on. Oh my god, I was close. That was embarrassing. I am not that bad at this game. I don't know. I just... I missed so many... I, with zero, it's hard for me to dodge it when he rams into you. Thank god I didn't get a game over. Okay, so I'm gonna tell a bit of a story of when we first got this game. It is a new thing. Well, no, this is brought in X5, um, giving you ranks. 
Okay, well, anyway, I'll just explain. You're not even paying attention to the game. No, you're, you're not looking at the game at all. You're playing with your Bionicle. See, you called by looking at the game. Okay, so you see those orange discs? Yeah. Those are the important guys to get. The other guys will give you health upgrades, or and they'll give, always give you health. Now, you can upgrade your guys. The thing is, there aren't an, um... There aren't enough upgrades for you to fill out these uh, t uh, tables, but you can always um, you can replay the game once you've beaten it. And if you unlocked X and his armor on your next playthrough, you get to you keep X and his armor. If you just unlocked X, you can uh, you keep him in your next playthrough, but you can just unlock his uh, armor and you keep it and so on. And then you, you keep these upgrades, and uh, you can fill them out by replaying the game. Oh, yeah! I forgot to tell you. This is the reason I ran away from Red Alert. Because I can copy the shape and abilities of Reploids. But it's far from perfect. Even with the copy shot. I can only copy the form of Reploids my own size. For the rest, it's only possible to copy their abilities. And where did you learn such a skill? <laughs> That's the thing. Even I don't know where I picked this up. You don't know? How could you not know? Don't know. I don't remember. Red found me. I've been defeating enemies ever since. So, uh, one thing that was exciting for us as kids was, you know, even though in X4 they there was uh, animations where they took stroke, but you know, they, they the characters had voices again. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, one thing um, I, I said in the last episode, but I don't know if anyone was able to hear it because the game was louder. I explained how the boss fights, every, um, every boss is like, um, is unique in their, the, the set in it, and, um, the plat, well, my brother uh, explained the platforms, but yeah, they're, they're all, um, differently layered. My vocabulary is awful, but, um, okay, I need to count these. One, two, three. Okay. These guys only attack you if you attack them first. One, two. He died. Didn't you see that? Wait, so when they die, you can't. No, I have to. Once I beat the game, once I beat the game, I can uh, always uh, re uh, like I can restart and uh, I can get them then. But we're not gonna replay the game. There will be backtracking because there's a capsule in this level. But I'll do the off screen. Oh, you've left the phone in here. Hello? Uh, sorry, he's um, he'll be back shortly though. Probably half an hour or so. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna hand you to my brother so he could add you. Wow. Um, so unprofessional. I really wanted this to be a good playthrough and go through this real fast, but um, see this is what people don't like. I'm using the dash button and this is what happens. But, you don't need to use the dash button because it um, uh, when you fall jump, it goes pretty fast anyway. Here goes nothing. What's wrong? You're not interested in the game at all. I got those guys. So you want to uh, talk about the bionicles? Uh, I got all the so You want? You may want to speak up and explain what Mark literally. Uh, I got all the toys. What's wrong? Can you hear me, Zero? Can you hear me, Zero? What? No, because you're, you're talking, then you're like. Can you hear me, Zero? Can you hear me, Zero? Can you hear me, Zero? You're like. You want to say it like so badly. Then when uh, it comes to it, you like... That's faster. This is going awful. The thing is though, this game is not short. This game, um, if you wanna, it's a, it's a lengthy game as in like, to, uh, to do all the stuff in it. it takes uh, a lot longer than all the other games. Well, except X8. Right now I'm just talking out of my ass. What I mean is that uh, this game won't be short. It'll be quite a few episodes. That's why I cut out all the, um, the collecting the item stuff because you've seen the level and I don't think you guys need to see it uh, again. Uh, I don't see how we can make it entertaining. 
Even though, um... Okay. What's wrong? Nothing. Oh, well, you seem all bummed out. Doing the banana club in the game. You see, Magnus, here's the problem. You know how you keep wanting to do the show with me? Yeah. You keep saying that you want to do it, but you never want to. When every time I say okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna record, you're like no, you want to do other stuff, and when we do record, you you're all not into it. Ready? Ready? Understand? I I really don't think that. I don't know if we should keep doing this. Today. No. I don't think so. So usually I go to Soldier Stone Kong, then I use them to take out Turbo uh, Tunyon. And then uh, Turbo Tunyon's attack takes out this thing very quickly. So I'm really uh, not doing justice to my, uh, I, feel, I actually kind of want to restart the playthrough. Don't sell on your legs. His uh, Turbo Tenyon's attack also helps out with this part, this part, this enemy here. This is another Parker. Todd. You know, from that show. You also help. Joe. And I think you also helped myself. Okay. I always feel like there's something I miss in that part.
It always made me think about our, our grandfather. Okay, so I wanted to explain a uh, bit um, what it was like when we first got this game. So when we first played uh, X4, it was at our friend's house. He had a PS2, but he didn't have a PlayStation 1 memory card. So every time we played uh, X4, we have to restart. Sometimes if you want to get really far, you just keep it on for uh, over the night and play it the next day. And um, so when we got our PS2, we... Um, the first games, like, uh, we got, well, we had, a uh, Gran Turismo 3 and Splashdown, Rise Down the Wild. But the first games that we got that, uh, we were, uh, were playing a lot were Mega Man X4, 8, and X5, and, uh, Legends 2. So, the first thing we got was a PlayStation 1, uh, memory card instead of a PlayStation 2 memory card. So when we got, uh, X7, we had to, uh, redo the game, uh, from the start. So every time uh, we got farther or discovered something new, it was just so amazing. Um, Miko was babysitting next door. So he would just go over there, watch the kid. The kid was, uh, he was like, um, seven or six or something. And Miko would just go over there and play, uh, with the, take out uh, the PS2 there and play X7. And then, uh, he'd come home. And you tell me, oh, I've discovered this new thing, and I'm like, oh, I found out this guy's weakness. And it was just, um... Yeah, it was like always, um, just exciting. When we first got this game, the first time we, uh, were, we were playing it, not, well, or probably the second time, so you, uh, you know Zach and Jess, right? Yeah. So I explained before in other episodes, uh, the, the guys who uh, introduced us to the Super Nintendo and Mega Man X, um, we were living uh, near their cousins, and they came over, and it was, so it was their cousins, them, and me and my older brother. So it was um the oldest of the brothers uh, who introduced us to X to Mega Man X and my brother they would switch so one of them would uh, play as Axel and the other one would play as Zero so um whenever like one was low on health they uh they switch guys and uh, get pass over the controller. So this guy's weakness is Turbo Tunyon, so that... Oh, 
Oh, this isn't going well. You know, there's a lot of um, just great memories with X7, and every it's because people hate it so much now. Every time I think of the game, it it really just destroys my memories. It's like I feel like I can't feel good about the game. What do you think of the game so far? Over here. Yeah. You think you'd be interested in playing it? Yeah. No. Do you want to tell him about how you completed X? Do you want to just leave? Oh, you don't sound like you want to be here. Okay. I'm just gonna end the episode here because uh, so far this playthrough has been going just off the rails. So we're gonna go back to Soldier Stone Kong's level, go to him, then um, Turbo uh, Tanyan, then come back here. This is just not going well. <laughs> 